I love it when the game just won't let me. I need to close the window in front of it, but I can't because the game takes over everything. One of my favorite things. Thanks, Obra Din, for making us laugh and love again. And now you don't. There you go. Okay. 33 fates solved. We've been playing for just. We've been. We stream for even numbers. That should be an even number, right? Oh, well. <clears throat> Little over halfway. A little over half of the fates. You know, I've decided we're gonna change it up for our high contrast viewers. I, I see you. Oh boy, do I see you. Okay. <clears throat> so, got my notes. I think I'm ready to go. What we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, in in today's stream is I I enjoy this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am enjoying this game. I am enjoying playing this game. I think it's a pretty fun game. I think maybe not the best game to stream. You know, because uh, I mean, at first it was like great because we were, we were like time travel and we were seeing people and we were seeing the things they'd done and you know getting getting to know our our ragtag band of misfits here. Like old salty, we're gonna we're gonna discover the truth about salty today. Um, but the last I would say two weeks, where it's just been mostly. Oh, what happened here? Oh, let's read words. Let's look at this picture. Let's go look at this grainy man over here. Why are you so grainy, grainy man? You know, I don't think that's really high quality streaming entertainment. So, plan is we are finishing today. I'm going to use the first hour, art or most or all, uh, and we're going to you know, we're going to find the people uh, that we can likely identify. Like, these guys have three triangles. No way. That's just shot in the dark. This guy's got two. He's a maybe. This guy's got one. I think we've got him right from, from watching back and going over notes again. I think he is correct. However... Until we get two more that are correct, we won't know that he's correct. Like this guy, we need to figure out who he is. Um, James Wallace. I think, you know, if we can figure out who this guy is, maybe we get James and the other dude. <coughs> but there's a lot of these people that have three triangles. Um, and I don't, I don't have confidence in my abilities. Uh, sign of maturity, that's what we call that, to to feel like I can get through it uh, tonight. So, I've got my notes, and then over here off to the side, on my little tablet, I've got a list. I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to go with notes. Got the thing minimized, screen is turned off. But when come time for the second hour, whatever we haven't solved on our own, we're going to, to yield the internet, okay? Because we're going to be done tonight. That's that's the plan. That's the goal. Um, yeah. <clears throat> there you go. So, where was I? We had one for you. I think I think we need to focus on you today. Speared by a terrible beast that you were. You're hanging out back there with Salty's crew.
Topman and seaman. Are you a top man, sir? Are you Omid? No. Are you Timothy? Are you Nicholas? I guess that was Nicholas. Okay. So James. We got Nicholas. We got and Maba. Okay. How about that? There's going to be a lot of that. Are you this guy? Are you this guy? Who's a good dead sailor man? Like that uh, Edward and the Two Dragons song. Two dragons? Three dragons. I think it's two. Anyway. Okay. So, has that... Ah, it's salty. You're a, a riddle inside a mystery, inside an enigma. Has that narrowed anybody else down? Because <clears throat> we still have to do this chapter, right? That guy's got two. You're both three still. You're still two. Christian Wolf. Don't know that guy. Don't know that guy. Well, who is next most likely for us to be able to figure out based on number of triangles? As everybody knows, is the universal sign of, of recognition triangles. Also hanging out with the seaman and the topman, so maybe you're a seaman. Are you Samuel Peters? George Shirley? Alexander Wilkes Booth? William Wasim? Wasim? Abraham? Probably ain't gonna work because we don't have. Those people. Are you I don't think you're an omid. You don't look much like a Timothy with that hat. Or a Lewis. I guess. Because of the hat. Yeah, like Burmese, Myanmar area kind of thing. Probably completely and totally wrong. But you know, there's a first time for everything. If we could figure out who who blasted you. Who blasted you, sir? I don't think 
it was him. I don't think it was him. It's either this dude or Salty. figure out what happened to him? I thought we did. No, it was, I think it was the other guy. It was another hat guy. And I think we figured him out. We've discovered someone else was Davy. Right? You're standing right next to the third mate. Maybe you're Roderick. Maybe you pronounce it Roderick. I'm gonna go with your Roderick, because you're standing right next to him. You know what? That's not a bad idea. No, not the glossary. It's this high contrast. It's messing with my, my clicking skills. Third mate, third mate steward, captain, first mate, surgeon, Thank you. 
up by him with mate. I don't think the fourth mate would have a yeah. Hey. We got Roderick. Good deal. Oh, okay. Roderick and Davy. And William. Yeah. Oh, now we know who... I think because he was the guy shooting the thing. So I think we can mark two people off. We finished chapter nine. Cross them out. Yeah. Okay, so now we need to go. That, that was this one. You lose them, they're all on the boat. Crushed by a loose cannon, I think. Who was working the cannon? The other page. God damn it. What I get for using a notebook. Well, I'm old like that, okay? Someone else got crushed. Got you, we got you. Still don't know who you are. Salty, you and you. It's not salty, it's this guy. That would make sense why everybody escaped Africa. <laughs> so I was paying attention. Dope. Yeah. Crushed by a beast. Maybe 
you were crushed by the cannon. I mean, that doesn't help much. But... You were firing it, and you shot these two. Right? Boom, kaboom. And this guy used as a bullet for this guy. He's like, hey, uh, Baldi, I got a round with your name on it, and its name is... Christian. And this guy's like, well, I still don't know who I am, so I guess that's okay. That's, that's what I'm concerned with, these guys. You're hanging out with all the seamen. So, let's apply our poke around until we see if we get something correct. No, he's a seaman, though. I've decided that's what I'm working with. Your wolf. You know, that's probably not going to work because we don't have um, name on you. We're just going to try and brute force this. It's going to be you. I don't know who it's going to be. I just don't think it's him. <clears throat> well, and this all depends, too, on if we've got another one that's correct. All right. I'm going to leave you there. And i leave you there. <clears throat> So if we think you are Abraham, that means you were shot by Abraham, and you were shot by Abraham. Promise I'm not looking at the thing. I promise. Screen is off. So does that finish chapter seven? No, because we've still got all these people at the end. We don't know who they are. But we're pretty sure they were devoured by a terrible beast. You know, and, and that's half the battle right there. Should we just try and brute force our way through here? We only have one person left in chapter one and three. We finished two. OK. 
Yeah, I wish it would like give me something, you know. Unknown soul was shot. He's back there hanging out with Salty. I think everybody else back there was top men for the most part. I don't think you're Persian. I'll call you an unknown top man. We have three people in chapter four. This guy. You're hanging out with all the stewards and all that, so I'm gonna... It's the only one left. Those two... I don't remember... I guessed he was Alexi. I don't know. Um... Seaman, Seaman, and Seaman. So you're an unknown seaman. Well, who do we got left? mean anything you're on the page with the other dude who I think is Russian I'm gonna call you the Russian dude Pump him one all this guy two if we got enough for him yet Somebody is wrong. I'm surprised you haven't cleared up in anything. Maybe that's not who you are. No, I think we decided that was you because we heard a dialogue. I'm not fluent in any of these languages, but it was the only one I didn't like immediately recognize, you know. Like you can kind of tell. Salty. It's as elusive as Robert Denby. I'm sure I've said that before. I'm sure none of you went and looked up who that was. <clears throat> Riding with death. 
Mystery Science Theater movie. Quote, movie made from two episodes of a TV show. Stapled together. I'm almost positive. Or a hell of a lot of time passed in between the first and second half of that movie. Not who I meant to click on, oh, but it's right. We saw forty five fates. That's any forty five. Okay. So that's all of chapter three. I was sure he was going to be wrong. It's all of chapter one. And Samuel G. Okay, so we have two left in chapter four, two left in five, three left in six. One left in nine, the ever elusive salty. And then we've got those four or five people left in seven. According to this. And whatever chapter eight has our total minus, you know, everybody else. Okay. Have we narrowed down anything else? But you got three and three. You got three. You still have one. There's got to be just like one thing wrong with you. Maybe you weren't spiked. Maybe you were speared. Do we decide if the game cared if someone was spiked or speared? You've got three. Who are you hanging out with? You're with the stewards. Deal with him later, I guess. <clears throat> don't know who that guy is. Don't know who that guy is. Nothing on old salty. Oh my god, went too far. Sorry. Maybe you weren't speared. Who 
Oops. Maybe it just looks like you were speared. Maybe the crab demon was just a red herring. Plus one, plus two, plus one. <laughs> I think you were sorted. you, John? Are you the John in question? Which would mean the other guy... is him. Right? You were spiked by a terrible beast. I think I just got him backwards in my notes. That's correct. I had this name written down, but it may be wrong. assistant over here somewhere. If we did, we got him. Apron of some sort. I have me an apron, I'd be wearing it. Is it missing a leg? Missing a leg.
Uh, I think we know what happened to you. Yeah. We're sheared. me. It still taunts me. Which one of you is that guy? It's you. speared by a beast. You're standing right behind him. So I'm gonna say you were speared. Because that's only fair. <clears throat> You're the surgeon. You're the surgeon's mate. Okay. I thought so. I was just looking for you down here. happened to you. Still thinking that's correct with you. I got you. I got you. Hmm. you with the hat. You, we don't know. You were one of the devoured by a terrible beasts. Oh! Okay. We had two. I just picked one. Nathan Peters. Okay. Got him. And him. Perfect. Uh, making really good time here. Still no closer to Salty, though. We're running out of people that could be. Alright, let's make sure I got these right ones marked off. Excuse me. To the doom. There. Holy captives. There. And the other one. Unholy cap That's all of unholy captives. Okay.
need to go to chapter four. Just have those two. I'm I'm feeling that that's right. I don't know if I've just got the names reversed, but I'm I'm feeling confident about that. Let's go to chapter six. <coughs> don't know. Are you the guy yelling end day month? be either of you if you're saying in daemon you The only person we have in the back of the book that we need to worry about is Salty. We've got this batch of uh, people in seven at the end of the chapter here. That were all devoured. And we can just go through the semen. Yeah, but we only have one left, so they're not going to be all the semen. Could you be a Zungi? Your headwear? Could you be Omid with your headwear? I don't know what traditional Persian headwear is. It's almost break time. We're going to throw caution to the wind. I think you're Persian. And I'm looking at your shirt. And for some reason, I have like, um, what's his name? Gene Kelly in my mind. In one of the movies he was in, they were dancing because it's Gene Kelly, obviously. Um, but he's in a striped shirt, a lot like this, and I think he's in France. And we only have one French person here, and that's you. So I'm going with that. We'll find out after we come back. Both of those are probably wrong. But how neat would it be if my love of Gene Kelly movies helped me solve this game? We could be singing in the rain. We could be uh, inheriting the wind. Those are my favorite two. Maybe not in that order. He was obnoxious in Inherit the Wind, but that was the character. Oh, 
I'm going to swap your names. Ha! No way. All right. Thank you, Gene Kelly. And both of them. Okay. All right. I can, I can work with that. That's all of chapter four. While we're on break, I'm going to look up that movie. In fact, now seems like a good time to take a break. It's a little early. That's all right. See you uh, in a few minutes. Look, here is the new Band-Aid plastic strip with new Super Stick. It sticks better than any other bandage. The proof? Take a dry egg at room temperature. Touch the egg with any other bandage. Brand X, brand Y, 